All right. In the top eight, my opponent is Hanalore again. My opponent from last round. He uh, started out three zero. So his breakers are super good. So he made it at three two, and uh, we are gonna be facing off in a best of five now. So let's do it. All right, all I can do now is just hope that I play well, draw well, do good. Do well, does do good things. Hanalore. All right, no shadow, obvious redraw. <laughs> yeah, we're like two of the only people not playing tab rod. I don't even know if this play is just power. One, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, it's close. I play either Monument or I play Sigil and Seek. Well, I have two three drops. If I Sigil Seek, then he torches my Blister Sting Wasp. I, uh... Don't get to play something turn three, which is devastating. If I play this and then this. I still can't play anything turn three. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm going to do this then. So, shadow, time. Oh, no, wait. Shit. Uh, so, that means I couldn't get triple shadow with the seek. So, actually, I should have played... Monument, and then second turn for the Shadow Sigil, so that I could have Seeked for Shadow on turn four, actually. Uh, I think I'm just going to take a hit from this guy. Play this so as to not get my guy torched. No, let's play this. The upside if I drop power is so high. I do need to find Shadow, though, now. Yeah, I definitely messed up that power sequencing in turn one. I didn't think about the triple Shadow thing. Umbran Reaper nerf. Umbran Reaper nerf being relevant. Oh, okay, well. Now I'm just fine. Um, so my deck tops out at five. Game one. So do I play the Monument? And do I play the Seat? Seat means any power lets me Reaper next turn. If I banish this, uh, like Fire Maw, I guess, is the thing to worry about. But then I have like such a huge pressure advantage. I banish this, I get to get in for a bunch. Which is like, obviously super important. Yeah, I'd rather play this on 5 than this. Yeah, alright, I'm just going to play this Monument. And kill this. If he plays a Fire Maw, I have the the Wasp anyways, so. Uh, he just has another Titan, sure. Mm hmm. So what does that mean? I can play this. Play this obelisk and then kill my Dawnwalker on that next turn. If you have Shatterglass, I lose. How many Shatterglass do you have main? Two? Yeah, two. All right, yeah, I'm doing it. I need to draw a card as well. Right, it looks like he has a torch. So now torch is useless against my obelisk. Although Dawnwalker can still kill. Obliterate. Oh, he obliterates the wasp? That's really good. Um... They're not a five here if I don't block. Yeah, all right. I think I block. Do a death strike. I think this is the play. Then I can bring it back with Reaper. A 
third Titan. Hmm. Yeah, if I play the Reaper, there's just nothing that I like lose to. If he kills it, I get to gain five. All his purifies are in the board. There's only two of them even then. All right, finish my sandwich. Full brain power towards this game now. Man, these are some like intense ones. I like that this guy can trade a Titan now. That's super good. If he just passes, now nah, there's no way he does that. I was gonna say I would just kill this and get it in the air, but there's no way he passes. But I do have the kill every other turn with this. All right, I think I have to block so that I don't get obliterated. He needs to bring his guy back, but now I get to kill her or something. Ooh, he doesn't get to bring his guy back. Well, that's just super good. Yep, there's a torch. Which we knew about. Play this, bring it back. Yeah, I just get I just have a killer machine every single turn. Good old Xenon Killers, Dawnwalker Extraordinaire. I used to be Shatterglass is my obelisk. This all kind of goes out the window, so hopefully that doesn't happen. This also just makes him focus even more on, like, how absurd the uh, obelisk is. And so, like, he's more likely to board in all his Shatterglass mages. Oh, well, I board out my obelisks, and I kind of, like, get him in the sideboarding game. All right, what to do now? I want to kill that thing. But then I don't get to bring my guy back right away. Um, I almost certainly want to attack with this. Cause I'm gonna play. Or no, I don't want to attack with this actually. Cause I'd have to like annihilate a Dawnwalker. Hmm. All right, let's think. If I just like kill this guy, swing. He double blocks. I annihilate one. And then I bring this guy back. That seems pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna do it. He can't even, like, warp most of his badass dudes anyways. He's getting kind of low, too. If he just doesn't block, then I can just play this and leave up Annihilate. I can't be dead next turn. So you can't have Torch, Obliterate, and a Power. And this doesn't even die to Torch. Yeah, alright, this is great. Kill that. Put you to 9. Bring back Dawnwalker again. All right. Well, we successfully brought back a killer Dawnwalker four times. I think we're going to win this game. <laughs> Jeez. So good. Walker of Ancients, like, isn't that exciting. It lets him warp, like, 11 guys. All right, well, it was pretty exciting there to bring back a Titan. But I think opponent's still dead here. Oh, my God, three Dawnwalkers? Well, I've got him for lethal right here though so or at least i think i do like i death strike this guy let's see if a pause no all right then we got it yep all right okay took game one let's jump right back into it Man, these games are, like, really intense. Oh, it's just so intense. Okay. Only two power, no big fatties. I think this one is not good enough. Ian's, like, medium here. If he gets in a couple points in the early game, a couple hits in the early game, that's, like, a really big swing that ends up mattering a lot. Ooh, I've got the Dark Return Interrogator tech going on. Just play this. Is it greedy for me not to play this as power? Yes. Should I do it anyways? No. Let me be greedy. If I draw an instigator and no more power for like four draws, then I get punished. If not, I don't. All right, and I just drew a power right away. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to save this then. Like I said, game one, my curve tops off at five, so I should just like always try to play this as a Reinarch if I can. Power stone, all right, he's ramping up. Oh, 
play my guy. Basically, it's like Power Stone just makes it so he's on the play. He skips turn two, but now now he's on the play. <laughs> or she, they are on the play. Dawn Walker. Yeah, I definitely don't want to make this trade. Okay, well. Luckily for me, then, it was never an option. I guess play this first. See if he attacks. If he doesn't attack, that's a kind of a giveaway. Okay, let's put another one of those. Hmm. So this is the turn that he got to six. So like he might have a heart of the vault that would kill my Umbrin Reaper. So this might be the time to just uh, play around. Well, he doesn't have the influence yet. Is that card like fire? Fire plus Heart of the Vault. I was gonna play it. Screw it. If it dies, I can dark return it. Oh wait, the Titan play. Yeah, I should have done this. Okay, well, doesn't end up mattering. Let's play another Titan. Okay, well this guy was never gonna fly. <laughs> there were just there's no wings anywhere. He was never gonna fly. So let's start drawing cards. Yeah, I should have played this last turn then, I guess. I missed out on one turn of draw. Because there's a Titan in play, yeah. He's going to draw his fat. He's one turn ahead of schedule now. Yeah, well, that had warp anyways. <laughs> then I draw the Obelisk? Okay. Um, does that actually open up attacks for me, though? Um, not really. I think I just play this and it's like, make an enormous board and then Obelisk for a sudden, like, Pack hunt effect. It's making it so you can't like double block enough guys to stay alive. Something like a Carnosaur is like really devastating, but even Heart of the Vault is fine here. Okay, that's pretty sweet. All right, Interrogator just carrying this game hard. All right, next turn I probably Obelisk in A space if he doesn't play anything here. Alright, warped another Titan. Alright, I guess Walker of Ancients did some work. Oh my god. <laughs> I think math is for blockers. <laughs> math is for blockers. He's got wasps on the side, but not the main. Any three guys is lethal. A bunch of these have overwhelm can like double block one of my titans with his titans or something but there's no way he's gonna be able to retain 22 strength he only has 24 total but yeah like it, several of these have to chump like at least four of them i see like double blocks the nine nine with the titans puts the five three here puts the two dawn walkers here chumps this titan takes 18 No, wait, he would take, 20, th take 23. Yeah, it takes 23. That's probably his best line. But then I just have, like, an enormous board, including a Umbran Reaper. Yep. 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 No, wait. No, you do the same thing. You just jump here and then block there. Yeah, okay. That, that prevents one more damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's just jumping here, too. Oh, he's jumping everywhere? All right. <laughs> yeah, this, this is done, then. He needs to put that somewhere to kill something. Kill my Dawnwalker? Sure. I probably would have wanted to kill, like, the Titan, but... Alright, so I lose a Titan. He loses a Titan, a Shatterglass, two Dawnwalkers, and 18... 23 health. That seems pretty good. I can get behind that. <laughs> Obelisk, pretty good! <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I do want to keep in some Obelisk. Like, it goes with the four Shattered Glass. Like, the risk of getting blown out is just so high. And, like, all my other cards are good. Like, I think I do want the Wasps. I think that, like... Oh, having all the Carnosaurs is great. The Strike is great. <laughs> Man, the Obelisk was insane there, though. That's, like, the only game that's been insane. The other one's been, like, pretty medium. I think I want to, like, keep up on tempo more. Like, if I ever get my 
obelisk blown up by a shadow glass mage that's just like game over like huge tempo swing like on board two for one level if he warps it it's like a three for one like yeah i i like my sideboard plan i mean <laughs> Uh, might be rethinking his life. Probably going up to the four shattered glass. Right, being up 2 0 is a nice place to be, though. He has to beat me three times in a row, and what I think is a pretty even matchup. Alright, not enough power there. Alright, this is solid. I am gonna not be greedy and finally just play on my his power. <laughs> Plus I go up to six now post board. And even like seven for like Darker Turn and Carnosaur, as we saw like last round game three, so. Alright, it's pretty good. Uh, I guess I have Dawnwalker first as the play. Or should it be Ian? Nah, I like Dawnwalker. If he plays a huge fatty, uh, next turn I can ambush in the Ion and trade these two for it. All right, well, I'm just going to beat down as hard as possible then. Although, like I said, I'm not that sad. Like... I guess it's like fine. <laughs> He's got something to blame. Well, I drew the power. Like, it's not just over or anything. He's a torture guy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you're not in the worst shape here, bud. Like, if you play a Titan here, I have no way to get through anymore. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're that screwed. Alright, torch, sure. I get the double eye in. I mean, he's hanging in there. He's killing my stuff. Shadow Glass Mage. All right, that's not great. All right, my sideboard plan is working perfectly. We boards and all these Shadow Glass Mages. It gives him a better chance to drop power next turn, though. But yeah, I think this is probably over. He missed power for two turns. <sighs> yep. Well, I guess I am going to be at the Invitational next week. Uh, first time I've ever made it. I've lost in these finals here twice before, so nice to finally convert. And, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I get some stream matches. Now I need to figure out what to play. I mean, I've really been liking this deck in the Argent Port and Armory field. This Dawnwalker is just definitely where you want to be. Uh, also, I, like, accidentally got into top 20 on range while I was, like, testing it and stuff. <laughs> At least the first couple were good. All right, so uh, success, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, etc., and uh, see you at the Invitational next week.